and today I'm gonna help you to figure out how to set up VS Code and uh, C++ debugging as well as working with hash include bits slash std c++ dot h files. Um, we usually encounter this problem when we are working with um, Apple silicon chips with which are usually the M1 or M2. So um, the first thing that we are gonna need is basically installing homebrew. So we can we will just type it homebrew. Um, we'll just go over here, copy this and then go to our terminal. And the thing is that I already have it installed, but in your case, you would just install it and then it will give you um, two different commands to run for you. And once you are done with that, then basically your homebrew will be installed. After homebrew is installed for you, the next step would be to do a brew install GCC. When you do a brew install GCC, this will create um, GCC compiler for you uh, where all the uh, where basically a different installation of GCC is done because what happens is by default uh, Mac OS gives you Clang as GCC and it just replicates it which is not true so after you are done with that we have to set the new GCC as our main GCC so to do that what we are going to do is we will go to CD user then we would go to local and bin right and then we would check uh, what is the content inside this so as of now i can see that there is nothing inside so but let's go to our vs code now after we have installed this so vs code oh sorry my bad so in this case, as you can see, I have written a um, pretty big program which has hash include as bits slash std c++ dot h r and um, and you see that we have we are facing an error and error squiggles and all of that. So how I'm gonna fix this is basically click on this, go to quick fix, and do edit compiler path. Once I click on this, I will change the clang. Uh, this thing the compiler path to G++ 13 in your case It might be a little bit different based on whatever is the version of G++ that you installed, but after you have done this um, Go to the IntelliSense mode and change this to default um, Make sure that you can change whatever value was previously to to default and that is all also I have done another thing besides this is basically I added this small um, file inside my uh, include path and then if I actually go to this include path I have something over there as well so let me just show you quickly what exactly did I do so let's go to um, downloads and uh, let's actually go to Macintosh and then library and then basically developer command line tools user and include so and of course c++ in version one i created a new folder called bits and then inside it i gave the um standard installation required for uh, std c++ .h. and after i have done this I think uh, that is all that I did and let us see if my program does compile um, because I think it should but yeah let's go ahead and all right yep see so you see everything is working fine I have all the all the variables coming properly and um, I think I think that it looks good. It looks pretty good. You see we have the string and we have the different uh, Map and then everything everything is working fine. So I think that it should be should be pretty good and um, Let's just get rid of this breakpoint and make sure that we print something and see we did it and without any facing any errors So I think this should be the solution um, I will paste all the um, 
all the links as well as all the commands in the description and let me know if you have any questions all right have a good day